high tides, hope you all are great. There's been so many shows, events, and awards going on, I can't keep up. But let's see what Beach News has covered. What's up, it's Dylan, AKA Soap. I'm on the Fusion team, I'm captain of it. Um, today it was just an amazing day to see everybody just love us and there was energy. And I do it to inspire other people. If I inspire other dancers, and that's all it really takes for me. And that's what I do it for. I follow my dreams, I just want other people to know that they can follow theirs. And that's it, it's just all fun and doing it. It's not about the money or anything, it's just about inspiring. Nice. I've always, this is Mr. Grolitzer, and one thing I've always said since the first time six years ago when I saw the show, and I've said this to many staff, is boy, do we have some outstanding and talented students, which we do. The work is excellent. The art teachers and the Mr. Virgin is money, and all the students and all the teachers did a great job. And again, I'm just, I tell my family, I'm being sincere, what fantastically talented students we have that have bright futures ahead of them. Um, I think the art show that Mr. Virgin, Ms. Ruggera, and Ms. Money put on is really good for the school to showcase um, all the talent that we have here. So I think it's really cool that we do this here. The art show, I think it was incredible. Honestly, I think the art show was amazing. Never seen anything like it. It was exquisite. I think it's very important for students to be able to show their work and to show their teachers that they are capable of something and that even though they might be a little bit dumb with it, they have something inside them that is special. So, Ms. Yonkeda, Mr. Virgin, and I decided to showcase the students' work because they worked really hard throughout the year and we wanted to show off um, the kids' talents and creativity to everybody else. And also maybe have other students realize that they might want to take art classes in the future so they know what we have to offer here. Some great talent we have here at Beach High. Not only do we have creative students, we also have some very smart ones in math and science. Now, if you have a little difficulties in those areas, Julio is going to tell us about a helpful app. Let's see. Hello, Beach High. This is Julio Giraldo with a brand new segment called Epidemic. In this episode, we'll be reviewing a tool I found much useful. For those who don't know, Mathway is a problem solver in ways you wouldn't expect. There are inputs for algebraic problems, geometric problems, trigonometric problems. This thing can even help you with your chemistry homework. A complete tutor in the palm of your hands. But, you gotta sign up for these steps? Yeah, that's something we're going to be covering in these reviews. The good about these apps, and the bad. Let's start with the bad. The responsiveness can come with a bit of lag. This is because it's literally using the web page to show the information and for you to put in some problems. Of course, because it's such a lazy thing to do, it can be a pain to get what you want at a fast pace. The design is pretty ugly. Math is pretty ugly no matter what, but they could have left me a little motivated if the app looked a little more elegant. This signing up for the steps is really the biggest con the service has got. In order to see the steps, there's a payment service that will take out $19.99 out of your pocket for a month, while it's $79.99 for a year. If you've got bread, you're going to do big things, but it's not going to save you in college, buddy. Now here's what I find great about this app. There are various options on how you can solve what you've inputted. Instead of being restricted to one method, what your method might be is detected automatically. But you're always free to choose what work needs to be done. The calculation time is exceptionally quick for what you can put into the calculator, which is a lot. And it's free to download. It's also available on both iOS and Android platforms. I give this app a 4 out of 5. It can be better in design and not have that pesky step setup that murders that bank but at least you'll get to ace your quizzes next, next year. year. 
This was epidemic. Keep on vibing, Beach High. Two, one. Looks like this app is a great help for those who have difficulty in math. Summertime is coming, that means lots of communicating through the internet. Now, here's some caution when it comes to communicating through the internet. What is a digital footprint? A digital footprint is your online interactions that leave a permanent trail. It's anything you post online that cannot be completely erased, even if you delete it. Think before you post, as colleges, recruiters, future employers, family and friends may be able to see what you post. Do not post content that is vulgar, illegal, and sexual, because even if you try to delete it, it'll still be there. It also may affect you in the future if you are trying to apply for jobs in colleges. Make sure you are aware of photos and videos that you are tagged in and that they are appropriate. Protect your image by managing your online identity and reflecting your personality and how you want to portray yourself. Here's an example that happened here in Florida. A student sent his friend a picture of his Halloween costume which he had a fake gun. Turns out a year later, the friend posted this online and said that the kid was going to assault the school. Both students got in trouble and now the student has this digital footprint that will never be erased and will affect this future forever. Do not cyberbully anyone and do not leave a digital footprint around because it will follow you around forever. So be careful with what you send to people and with what you post online because it might affect you greatly in the future. Hi, so it's just remember not to leave any digital footprints behind and have a safe weekend.